this and you choke on it, that's your problem, not mine. Very day classe. Hello, everybody, Rachel. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have T from Orange County. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. We are on our way to 15K. So if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, the only thing that you need to do is subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell. Okay, guys. So we are getting into elizabeth vargas personal life and this girl is coming with some accusations against elizabeth and then she basically respond to this thirsty hoe so let's go little by little right the first thing is this girl uh michelle fox out of nowhere page six uh did a review, a recap on uh, the first part of the reunion of the Real Housewife of Orange County, where Elizabeth was very surprised because she hasn't heard anything about her ex being um, engaged to anyone. And Brownwin says like, oh, I talked to him and he is engaged. Uh, and my friend said that it's engaged or whatever, the whole deal. And Elizabeth is like, well, I haven't heard anything. Uh, uh, I don't know, right? Honestly, I didn't see, I mean, I never have seen Elizabeth trash this girl or trash her ex or talk badly. I mean, no, I mean, she actually, one of the biggest things that we had to say at the beginning, like for almost half of, half of this season, was that Elizabeth was not talking about her ex or nothing that really happened over there, right? Well... Page six did the recap, and then this girl out of nowhere decided to go off on Elizabeth on the comments of that article, right? He she is saying that she is burnt bottle um girlfriend, right? And that Elizabeth is obsessed with them, that she needs to go away and get a life, that she is um, that she has been constantly attacking and bashing Bert everywhere, that she needs to stop talking about us, that allegedly they have sent two C's and the C's to Elizabeth, that, they, I mean, she, it went on and on and on, the amount of bashment that this girl had to do. Again, I really never see anything bad coming from Elizabeth towards her, her ex or this girl. You know, like we never hear about this girl before, right? The only thing that Elizabeth said once was that she texted him and that was it. She has never said like, I still love him. I am obsessed with him. I want to get back with him. She has never said anything about this, right? So I was like, why? I don't understand why this girl is just coming. Where, where is she coming from? So, oh, and then she says that she and Bernd are engaged and that they have decided to spend the rest of their life together. Basically, you know, like confirming what Brownwin was saying. Okay. So now let's move on because Elizabeth, you know that she is not going to stay quiet. By now, you know that she has a voice and she will speak up whatever and said whatever she needs to say to check this thirsty hose, right? So she goes on and says, <clears throat> I am uncertain who this particular Michelle is on a personal level. However, is my understanding that she is somehow in a relationship with my ex. Unfortunately, in today's day and age, there is a lot of negativity going around in the world. And I feel she is caught in it. She's caught up in it, along with a lot of other individuals. However, she is not involved in my life in any capacity and never will be. And then she goes on and says, oh, and I have confirmed with my ex that he is not engaged to anyone. I'm just going to say, like, I don't know who this Michelle is, but 
to me, I think this is one of those, you know, jealous, thirsty hoes uh, that she is like, maybe want to create drama. I don't know if she wants to be part of the show. I don't know what is happening. And then this girl respond to that comment saying, oh, our future plans are none of her businesses. We are committing in a loving relationship. Um, girl, I don't think that being committing in a loving relationship is the same as having a ring on your finger. Okay? So, I need to see the ring on the finger if you want us to believe you. Otherwise, you are just another thirsty hoe. Okay? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like, I say, I think there are some people out there who sees anyone thriving finally you know and they have i mean they're on tv they have a nice lifestyle you know and then they they wish they were there that's the only thing that i have to say because why it was just out of nowhere look if i have seen elizabeth trashing this michelle on tv i will have been like okay yeah i mean she's defending herself of course but she has never talked about this michelle ever again why are you coming after Elizabeth out of nowhere? I don't understand. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Guys, check out my merch. The link is in the description of this video. And I'll see you around. See ya.